Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video, we are going to be dyeing half of my hair black. As you guys know, I dyed this strip of my hair black and I am in love with it. And so I really want to commit and do half of my head. I hate wearing a side part and so I want to be able to wear my middle part and have half of it just be like thick and black and this side just be thick and long and rainbow. Ugh, it's like a fantasy I have in my head and I need to achieve it. I'm really excited, I hope you guys are as well. For color today, I'm going to be using Arctic Fox Transylvania and then on the side that's rainbow, I'm just going to glaze it with Arctic Mist Diluter. This is just clear, it's basically like conditioner, it has no pigment in it and then this is just solid black. The reason I am doing that is because the Arctic Mist Diluter will create a little bit of a barrier just in case I accidentally get a little bit of black on my rainbow pieces that way it won't stick to my hair and there will be that layer of the arctic mist diluter helping me and saving my rainbow also what i learned from dyeing this piece is that this stuff bleeds everywhere and it stains everything so i need to be super super careful when i'm rinsing my hair out to make sure that the black does not bleed onto the rainbow. I'm going to section off my hair now. So I'm just gonna do a middle part. If you don't wanna commit to having half black, half rainbow, you could just do the strip like I did because whenever I wear my hair like this, split in the middle, you like can't even tell that I have black under there. Okay, so there is our middle section on the top. I don't really care if the back is like straight and even because my hair is going to be laying down. It's not gonna be split in the middle section when I'm wearing it like this is gonna be. I don't really care if the back is as even or as straight. So this side obviously is going to stay rainbow. And this is the side that we're going to be dyeing all black is the sectioning on the back. I don't know how that looks. Because this black is a blue-based black, it will fade more on the blue-green spectrum of your hair, especially if you have any yellow tones in your hair, it's going to fade out more of like a bluish green. So to try and counteract that as it fades, I'm going to be adding a whole bunch of purple rain. This is a super, super deep purple shade, and I'm just going to add it into my black, so that way, as my hair fades, hopefully it fades more on the violet side, versus the blue green side because we all know blue is a pain in the ass to get out of the hair. So I'm gonna try and avoid that by adding a whole bunch of purple to make it more of a purple based black. If you have not seen the previous video of me just dyeing this piece black, I will leave a link to that video up here if you wanna watch it. In that video, I used conditioner to outline the rainbow pieces so that way it would like stop it from transferring. Today, I'm not only using the Arctic Mist Diluter to section out where my rainbow hair is, but I'm gonna be going through this whole side and just drenching it in the Arctic Mist Diluter so that way if any black bleeds over here, it's not going to stain the hair. So I'm gonna make sure I really, really coat my rainbow side with the Arctic Mist Diluter. I'm gonna start with the Arctic Mist Diluter because obviously I want to protect my rainbow side first before I start applying the black. I did equal parts of Transylvania and Purple Rain. So I did half Transylvania, half Purple Rain. You won't be able to tell, it just looks black, but now hopefully it will have more of a purplish undertone when it fades versus blue-green. Just fun. 
All right, I got everything applied and it's looking good. I'm really excited. I can just tell by the way it looks now, it's going to be amazing once it's dry and styled and I have my extensions in. I'm going to leave this in for around 30 minutes. Normally I like to leave my Arctic Fox in for a couple hours, but because this is black, it's going to stain my hair so bad. So I'm not gonna leave it in for a super long time like I normally would. I'm only gonna leave it in for around 30 minutes. I'm going to rinse it out in my kitchen sink with like the sprayer hose and I'm gonna use really cold water. I'm going to start by rinsing the black section first in case any of the water that's running out gets on this side, the conditioner will still be on this section so that way it won't transfer. Wish me luck because black stains everything. If I can rinse this out successfully, it is going to look amazing. I cannot wait. I am so, so excited. It is super late at night, so I will see you guys on a different day. All right, I'm back. Here is how my hair turned out. This side is pitch black. I didn't realize how shiny my hair would be from this. For some reason, because my hair is damaged, I figured it would be dull and it wouldn't be super shiny, but you can see how shiny my hair is on the black side. So here is my hair, half black, half rainbow. What do you guys think? I wanted to hop on here and show you it without extensions, just in case you were curious on how it looked. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip in my extensions real quick and be back because I know that I'm gonna love it so much more with long extensions in. Okay, here is my hair with the extensions. I think it looks so much better and I knew I would like it way more with the extensions in. Here's the black side and here is the rainbow side i think it looks so much better like long and thick and i think it looks so cool i actually didn't have any problems rinsing it i rinsed it in my sink again and i used like the spray nozzle and i used really cold water having that barrier of conditioner really helped prevent this side from bleeding over here i didn't get any bleeding at all i thought maybe i would get a little bit of spottiness over here from the black running but it didn't at all i was so Thankful, I was very, very nervous to rinse it out because I was scared that this was gonna get all over this side and like ruin everything, but it didn't bleed on any of this side as you guys can see. One thing I wanna say is when you're rinsing this out, it transfers on everything you touch, literally. Your hands will be stained. I kept gloves on when I was rinsing it out because if not, my hands would be like blue black. It also stains your bathtub, it stains your towels. So just keep that in mind. Pretty much any dye that is super dark is going to stain everything. If you do use a semi-permanent black, it's going to stain everything it touches. I'm very curious to know how this side is going to fade since I did add so much purple in there. So I hope the fade out is pretty and I hope that this just fades to a pastel rainbow and this side maybe fades to like a bluey purple. It'll be interesting to see because I did have all of these rainbow colors underneath the black. So I'm wondering if any of those colors are going to pop out once the black goes away or if it's just going to fade like Transylvania normally would fade. I love the half and half. I think it looks so cool. I won't be keeping it just because I prefer like all rainbow, but I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I know what I would look like with it. And I think it's really cool and different. And I love that if I part my hair on this side, it'll cover some of this so it'll look like I have all black on top or vice versa I could part my hair over here and then it would look like I have rainbow cascading on top of like black so either way I part it it's very versatile and it looks very different I also think split dye hairstyles would look really cool with this it would look so cute with two space buns or two pigtails I love doing hairstyles for split dye hair I think it just accentuates the color so much more I will leave a link to Arctic Fox and my coupon code in the description down below in case you want to purchase any hair dye or if you want to try out Transylvania. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that will be in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much and until next time guys, stay weird. I